Hey, Gary Hoover here with a quick thought about profit and wealth. There seems to be sometimes um, people are down on profit. People think that you're uh, somehow doing something better if you don't make a profit, that profit's evil. And there are also at times people are down on wealth. Um, uh, wealthy people, if they made this money, they made it uh, by screwing somebody or whatever. I don't know. Anyhow, I think we need to think more clearly about these things because if you think about profit, profit means that you have taken in more money than you put out. When I ran retail stores, we bought things, uh, we bought a book for $6 and we resold it for $9 or whatever. And even after we paid the payroll and the lights and everything else, we still had some money left over. Um, Wealth is, in a sense, the accumulation. Uh, it's savings. In, in both cases, uh, uh, taking in more than you put out, uh, making a profit means you're saving some money. You aren't using up all your resources on immediate needs. And likewise, when we say Bill Gates is worth uh, 50 or 60 billion, whatever the new number is, um, that's the same as saying he has savings of 50 or 60 billion. Or if you have savings of a thousand dollars, you know, that's your wealth. The thing about it is why these things are good things and not bad things is because they're the only things that allow us to invest in the future, to experiment, to innovate. You know, oh, Apple, if Apple hadn't been making any money off its old products when it just had the, the Mac and all that, it never would have had the money to try this new idea called the iPod and iTunes and then the iPhone and now the iPad and who knows what's iNext, you know? But the thing is, the only by making a profit and having some reserves do you have the money to try stuff, to see what works, because most really cool things, they lose money at first. You've got to invest in them. You've got to put some capital up front or at least pay some payroll and get, say, somebody, oh, go research that and see what you can find out. Maybe we should go into that business. And, and everything I'm saying here applies to nonprofit organizations every bit as it does to as much as it does to for-profit organizations. If you've got a hospital or a university or a museum, and you're spending every penny you take in the door, you have nothing left for innovation, for trying new stuff. So profit and savings and wealth are what give us innovation and experimentation. They're what give us the future. They, and Peter Drucker, the great management thinker, talked about this. Profit is the future. And the other thing that I am touched on, they're what give us security, the ability to sleep at night, rainy day money. So. Profit, wealth, they're great things. And, and, uh, and if we use them right, we can build a better and more exciting and interesting and more affluent future for everybody on Earth. And that's it for today. I'm Gary Hoover. I'll see you later.